logging in Nasu Highland in the wet. I've just got out of Group S for the daily um, and the weekly. Oh shit. Please don't kill me for spoilers. <laughs> this will go up before both of those. Oh well. Watch my stream if you ever want to get spoiled for uh, daily and weekly. This is going to be a long one. Taking a login truck through Japan, one of the slowest countries in the wet. Where I'm pretty sure it's even slower than it normally is in the wet. But hey! Plodding onwards. Hopefully, be out of the logging truck by, uh, oh shit. <laughs> by Christmas would be good, but by like the middle of next week. Like if I do one set of 12 each day, that's, so I've, after today I've done three countries of 24. Now if I do one set of 12 each day, that's two more countries, so I'd be at five countries out of eight. Then on the weekend I could probably do at least one whole country a day, Friday maybe even. Get a country in. I'm off work next week, so I can definitely grind a bit more then, but... It's going to speed up from here, then slow down from here, because I've got, um... After this is the Dakar truck, which is faster. Uh, and hopefully has better brakes. But yeah, the Dakar truck is faster. And then it's the tri-wheeler, which I'm not actually sure if it's going to be faster or slower. Would not be surprised if it was slower.
But yeah, got a lot of a uh, lot of logging left to do. Super chill. Come on, little truck. Crawl up the hill. Nice. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I just looked up if I was to do twelve stages a day. Take me 160 days to do this. This whole challenge. So it's probably going to take me longer than that. But while I've got the fuel right now, we will see if I can do more than 12 stages a day on average for a little bit. Maybe 24, because that'll make it 80 days. I should probably make it 160 days once you calculate in all the days that I'm not going to play. Yeah. 
But hey, yeah, it's a massive undertaking. About 160 hours of uh, playtime. It's a good little challenge. I like it. I like it. Because there's not many games where you can say, yeah, I completed every level. And that's actually a massive achievement rather than just like, you know, yeah, I'm like the second person ever to complete every level in the game, officially. Because for most games, oh yeah, I completed every level. It's like, okay, whatever. It's either very possible or it's custom content and it's very impossible. You know, you like Mario Bros, for example. If you complete every level, well done, you've beaten the regular game. <laughs> for most Mario Bros, I suppose. Just beat the regular game going one 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 two, you know. Maybe you gotta find a bonus world here or there. It's certainly not It's beating every level is certainly not something you do after you've already could have said I've hundred percented the game. Cause like right now, I've hundred percented this game, I've got every achievement, and I've completed the main campaign, and I've picked up every every pickup in the free roam. I've completed every free roam. There is no way you can say I haven't 100%ed this game. Already. But I'm looking to 101%. Massive jump. Nice. Okay, apparently one of those is still bound to shift gear. I was just piddling around pressing the buttons on my D-pad. Hmm. Oh, a huge yawn.
Get in. Nice. Unpausing, because I'm going to, uh, yeah, I've just had a brilliant thought about my music setup. So I had a thing where I um, got a copyright strike on one of my videos and I was a bit pissed off about it. And I said, I actually got this from a place where you said it was free to use. And the guy said, I don't care. I like, you bastard. <laughs> However, I remember I really like Jonathan Colton. And Yeah, I can they're all under CC0. Or not CC0. I think it's CC3 or something. It's Creative Commons attribution. Non-commercial attribution. Attribution's easy. Non-commercial, like fuck I make any money off of this. <laughs> I think there is technically, like, because I do technically have adverts on it. I don't know. I wish there was a way to sue Twitch. Like, is that that would kind of be the thing. It's like Twitch is making money off of this content. But then Twitch would just start not allowing non-commercial stuff on their platform. And then I wouldn't be able to do anything, really. So yeah, I can just go download some uh, Jonathan Colton albums. Do need to load up my phone with some more music as well, so be a good way of doing it. Instead of just downloading random shit off of SoundCloud like I usually do, which has no real guarantees. And it's hard to track down what got you hit sometimes. And remove that, whereas it's like, okay, well that that artist, if I download an album, it's like, okay, that album got me hit. Yeet that album or yeet that entire artist from the playlist. Although I may have to remove Code Monkey because I've had Code Monkey as my ringtone before for a very long time. And that intro. Do, 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 do. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Oh, fuck, where's my phone? <laughs> Thunderstruck still does. That was my first ever phone ringtone that wasn't like a default Samsung ringtone on my first ever fucking fold out Samsung flip phone thing. Bloody Thunderstruck. Absolute banger of a song. Downloaded it off of my dad's iPod via Bluetooth or something, I think. Can't you remember how it got on my phone? Maybe my dad just put it on. Yeah, maybe my dad just plugged it in the computer and loaded it up with a load of stuff. That's more reasonable.
kind of want to use everything that's create actually Creative Commons. Like I was thinking, do I want to use the Art of Rally soundtrack? It is a great soundtrack. I know that it's legit for video production and stuff like that. And I can just pick it up off Steam, obviously. So that, that's the thing now as well. I've just decided, like, not just, but when I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go buy some music. <laughs> just gonna just go buy music off of people who give it away for free. Like, yeah, I can't afford to buy probably every one of Jonathan Colton's fucking albums. But... I can probably, like, since that sort of stuff's Creative Commons, I can buy one or two. If you do have any suggestions for Creative Commons and public domain type music, please let me know. I might put some really cl- oh no, because I'll get copyright strike for- This is the bullshit thing about the copyright strike system. I'll get copyright strikes if I put some fucking Mozart in there. Some like, ancient shit that's completely public domain because it's hundreds of years old. But someone will have an almost exact replica recording. But because their recording sounds like my one and you never know who's got the copyright to that recording. That's the problem with songs because now people go, oh, well, that's in the public domain, but actually my recording of it is now the copyrighted thing. Crack him. <laughs> but now I've got to bust out my fucking guitar and remake Mozart. What if I play it a little too perfectly and it sounds too close to yours? Because, <gasps> you know, we both actually could time it. Especially if you're doing electronic music. Or like remaking it electronically. It's gonna be Bob on, isn't it? System is fact. System is fact. Problem is, big corporations wrote it, so they're not just gonna go, yeah, let me steal from big corporations. Oh, it's happened again. Oh no, it's fixed itself this time. No, no fishtailing. Please.
Ah, oh, my arm's really itchy. <laughs> it's random, like, shooting pain itch. You know, the, the kind that just starts out, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll probably get to the end of the stage and I'll scratch that. I'll be fine, and it just starts shooting pain up your arm. Like, okay, I'll scratch. Jeez. Don't think about it, don't think oh Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a long uh Oh yeah, I've got to do the endurance championship thing, haven't I? That's about. Yeah, I might do that tomorrow. I think I've got Norway after this, haven't I? If I've got Norway after this, that's good because that means I should have enough time to easily do. Yeah, I won't have enough time today. Halfway through, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I won't have enough time to do it today, but tomorrow I won't have weekly to do. If I don't have the weekly to do, I'll be able to do that much easier if it's... Because uh, like the weekly took about 20 minutes. That's going to take like 35, 40. And this... This is going to take ages, but if it's Norway in the dry... It's probably only be like 40 minutes, so easy. The reason I've got to think about it is because I basically play for an hour and a half and stream for an hour and a half after work. It's like focus time. And at the minute I'm spending it logging. It does feel like by the time I get through with this I'll be halfway done. But I know I won't be. Little Monkey is going to take the same time as this. That car truck got no idea how fast that thing actually is. The V8 
Van shouldn't be too bad. Vans and Group 2 will probably be about the same time. And then it'll just get faster from there. Because I'm going to work it backwards from here. I'm going to go. So logging is the final uh, thing. Then I'm going to go uh, Dakar truck, tri wheeler, vans. Then I get into being able to do custom rallies, which makes everything a lot easier. And that's when I'll go two, three, four, B, S, A, done. Yeah, it's got Dakar truck next. For the 69th rally that I've done in this van, this login truck. 68th of the um, series, I guess. Uh, bugger. Oh, come on, save it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Did I just climb straight over the barrier? <laughs> that barrier is not safe. That barrier needs to be raised. That surely shouldn't pass health and safety inspection. Even for a non-speeding truck. The fact that I was able to just ride over it like it was a bump in the road. Oh no. Play out. Next. Yes. 
Go, 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 go. Please stay straight ish. Uh, is this thing four wheels? <laughs> Feels like it isn't just front wheel drive. I should probably check, actually. Let's check on the next stage. Actually read the description of it, because I don't think I've ever read the de proper description of this car. Well, the flavour text. Oh, hey, we're up in the group. Uh, gear four. Damn. Zooming along. Give it a read. Nice. Oh, it's rear, it's rear wheel drive. Really? How? <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll, we'll ignore the fact that that makes absolutely no sense. Anyway. In 1983, a Finnish logger named Duke was caught covering two sections of a live rally stage while carrying logs to rebuild his shed, which was destroyed when a rally car crashed into it the day before. However, what surprised the organisers was his times were only 30 seconds short of first place, although the times weren't officially validated. I've seen multiple videos in those compilations of rally things where uh, a <laughs> guy just goes straight on into the shed. Sheds get wrecked in rally.
Get him up. Get around. Well, now I know that it's rear-wheel drive. That slightly changes the way that I'm going to drive the thing. Because I know that it won't pull me around that corner. Ah, uh, piss. The next two tracks aren't short, are they? Oh, what time was that? That was... So I've got a 5.24.50 and on here 5.24 so a tiny tiny difference between the two. Hey 5.55 5.55km So apparently all it takes to do that is all of Finland, all of Tardinia, and very close, but not quite, all of Japan. In fact, since I did one stage in Sardinia before I started this, like that's all my logging experience before I did the first Finland one, um, it'd probably be basically just touch the end of Japan, and you're good. I think that Sardinia stage was 11k, it was a longer one. 
so probably you would have to go all the way through everything all the way up and that's when you get your Fujin achievement or you just do career uh, group A career in the Fujin if you want that achievement the easy way while playing the career you can also get comfy seats at the same time Bugger. We. It's the last one.
I drive fast, not quite tip this video over the hour. Germany in the rain. I think Germany regular is going to be uh, over the hour in this thing. Oops. There we go. All of Japan in the wet. There we are. 